Saturday evening and I just finished editing the vlog. I like spent the majority of today editing it. I don't know why it took me so long today. Um, last week's vlog. You're watching the following week's vlog. Anyway, I'm going to go and dye Easter eggs with my family, Brian, Haley, and my parents. We're going to have some dinner together and then dye some Easter eggs. We dye them about a weekend ahead of time because my dad makes Rosca. Um, which is this really beautiful piece pastry we make at Easter with the eggs inside of the bread. I'll insert a picture right here. My grandma used to do it every year and my dad's kind of carried on the tradition for us. Um, and then I'm going to be making the pignoli cookies that I make at Christmas and Easter every year. It's another like Italian tradition for us, but I'll show you the eggs when we're done dyeing them. I'm with the doggies outside playing, Bailey and Sandor. She was bringing me that toy and he's bringing me that big ball. <laughs> Good babies, so nice outside, huh? Lucky today. Look at all the yummies. Dad made tri-tip and some sausages, some yummy salad, potatoes. Ooh, ooh, yum, yum. And all the doggies trying to get to it. Sweet Sandor. Look how gentle he is. He's such a yeah. big boy and he's so gentle. <laughs> that was funny. She like booped him and then ran away. <laughs> the Easter Bunny came early. Actually, my mom was the Easter Bunny. She gave Haley and myself these cute Easter baskets when we were over there dying Easter eggs last night. Um, I think she actually did one for Brian as well. She's just the cutest. She loves doing stuff like this and um, definitely made us smile yesterday. Haley and I both got this adorable bunny little chick duo. Look how cute the little face is. I'll be putting her somewhere in my Easter decor. I will be hosting Easter, so I've got to get the table all set at least. So I probably will be using her in the decor. She's so cute, right? Let's put her right there for now. And then got some C's candy, but really look how cute the lid, this tin is. It has honeybees on it, which you guys know I would be obsessed with, but they also have my favorite flower on here. So pretty, I love that. So yummy chocolates. Got some jelly beans, fruit bowl jelly bellies, yum. These are the only jelly beans I will eat, the jelly belly. Don't try to give me any other jelly beans, pretty much. <laughs> and then my favorite... Strawberry yogurt pretzels. Haley got some of these too, I know, from Costco. Look, she even put the cute colored paper down on the bottom. And then this is a gratitude journal of some kind. Um, look, that I can write down some stuff. Very nice. And then more candies. <laughs> I think I'm going to bring these ones to work though, so everyone can enjoy with me. But that was so sweet of her. editing a few reels right now and I put some of my favorite eye patches on these are the v2 code ones that I've spoken about a million times that was Holly leaving to go outside it's beautiful outside today my gosh my top knot is a little bit extra right now I haven't done my hair I just wanted to show you guys the really beautiful blush that I shared with you last week from Too Faced the cloud crush in tequila sunset it is so vibrant and pretty and then I also have the lip gloss that they sent me on. And this is in the shade On Blast. Oops, I turned my fan on. Hold on. On Blast. So I have that on top of like a more neutral lipstick. So it might be coming off like slightly less bright of a coral because of that reason. And then I do have some of the shadows on my eyes, but I kept it pretty neutral for work. So I was about to start eating my dinner. Actually, I did start. <laughs> I started eating a carrot, but I just wanted to show you the variety of veg I have here. Some um, celery, cucumber, carrot, and tomato. And yes, I got the baby carrots. They're just easier. I know that it's better to get the whole carrots. 
life. And then this is actually not store-bought, even though it looks like it, because she puts stuff in containers like um, like she reuses them. But doctor, the doctor I work for, um, she actually made this tuna salad and she had us take it home because she didn't want it to go to waste. And I was like, heck yes, I will take this home. So it's tuna, a little bit of mayo, dill, um, red onion, I think a little bit of, I don't know if it's apple or celery. I think it might be apple, green apple. I'm not sure. I know she's had a little bit of some kind of mustard in here. And uh, like, I think I said dill already. Anyway, it's delish. So I'm just going to have this with some veggies for dinner. I'm really trying to cut carbs a little bit this week. And I'm not saying like, I'm not promoting that for all the time, but right now I need to cut down on my calorie intake and lose a little bit of weight. Cause I gained like a couple pounds, nothing crazy. It's under 10, but I just don't, you know, want to continue that path. I need to just, when my jeans are getting a little tight, that's when I know I need to cut, cut something down or I'm eating less sugar, have all this candy around for Easter. And I'm not going to lie. I've had a piece or two here and there. So anyways, this is going to be my yummy day. Hey you guys, I'm about to go into dinner with my friend Shriti. We're going to go just to Panera and have some, I'm having soup and salad. I'm not sure what she's having, but just having some girl time. I actually went to Trader Joe's also right before this. Hopefully my food stays okay. It's not that hot out. So, and I didn't get anything crazy except salads. Um, so I'll show you when I get home, my little Trader Joe haul too. Just a little Trader Joe's haul. So I got my favorite salad, the crunchy slaw. Got some of my mangoes that I love. These are the ones that are unsulfured and unsweetened. So there's no additional sugar and they are so sweet as they are. I love these. And then I got, I repurchased this as well, vegetable pad thai. It's so delicious. And for the entire thing, it's 400 calories, which I think is pretty reasonable. And it was very filling the last time I had it. It has tofu, vegetables, and rice noodles in a sweet and spicy sauce. Um, then I got some of these dog bones for Holly, the chicken breast strips. They are just purely chicken breast. It's kind of expensive. There's like maybe 10 in this pack and it's $4.99. But they're expensive anywhere you buy them, so... I figured I'd give them a try, and she did really like them. I just gave her one just now. I've been seeing these all over TikTok and Instagram as like a really yummy protein bar, and there's no added sugar. There's 20 grams of protein, and I just grabbed three of the most popular on the shelf, you know, like the ones that had the least amount. Um, so I got chocolate dough, which is kind of supposed to be like a cookie dough one, caramel cashew, and salty peanut. So I'll let you guys know once I start trying these. They are high in calories though, even though they're high in protein and low in sugar, the calories are still 200 per bar. So these would definitely be like either a meal replacement for me, or I would cut them into smaller squares as a snack or like sweet treat option. So I got three of those to try. I repurchased my crunchy curls. I've spoken about these here on my channel as well as my Instagram. They are a great alternative to a potato chip. They have lentil and potato and they are baked, not fried. And they are so satisfying if you like like a crunchy, salty treat. I like to, oh, I just realized I forgot to get my hummus. I didn't get the hummus that I love to have with this, which is the crunchy chili garlic hummus. I forget. I'll put a picture of it right here, but this you can have 31 curls for 130 calories. So satisfying. And all of that is really good. Um, I've never had these, but they looked pretty reasonable calorie wise, organic garlic, non crackers. I sometimes like to have crackers and cheese and like just little tapas for dinner. So I wanted to have some kind of cracker on hand. And for 10 crackers, it's 130 calories. I am, like I said to you guys earlier, trying to be less carbs. So not something I'm going to gravitate towards this week probably, but I wanted to have those on hand. I also got these because I, I can't resist these every time I go to Trader Joe's. They're not that bad calorie wise, but they are, they do have like a little bit of dark chocolate on them. They're the Bomba Puffed Peanut and Corn Snack, but with chocolate. And you can have 16 pieces for 160 calories. So still pretty reasonable. This is a new purchase for me, Italian Bomba Hot Pepper Sauce. 
this just sounded amazing. Um, again, on top of like a, like crackers or whatever, even on top of some toasted bread when I'm eating bread again. Um, I just thought, and even in just dishes, like cooking dishes in general. And then finally they had the crunchy chili onion back in stock. This stuff is amazing and it goes on everything. It's amazing on eggs, on chicken, on meat, on so many things. So I love this. And then this is something new for me. It is, um, doesn't have any added sugar to it, but it does have sugar in it because of all the fruit. Let's see. So when I drink something like this, I have a very little amount because this is what's getting me to drink more water is I'll put like a tiny splash of yummy, like tasting juice like this and then fill the entire glass with mostly water. So it's like maybe an eighth juice to seven eighths um, water. So in reality, I'm not getting much juice. It's just for a little bit of taste. Um, and this sounded so amazing. Country peach has peach and apple puree. So yeah, we'll see what I think of that. But yeah, that's all I got. I'll let you guys know about these once I try them and I'll show you what I end up using this for in the future. Happy Friday, at least it's Friday when I'm filming this. I'm going to sushi with my friend Sam. I'm so excited to meet up with her and catch up because it's been like a couple months since I've seen her. So we're gonna have some sushi and then I'll probably go home and edit this vlog because Saturday I have so much going on like Easter prep and going out with a friend um, Saturday night and the Saturday night thing doesn't even doesn't start till 8 and so I have a feeling that I'll be out kind of late and I just want to make sure everything's ready for Easter ahead of time so that's what I'll be doing you know majority of the day tomorrow so I kind of need to edit the vlog early I don't know why I'm telling you this I'm just updating you and I maybe I'll show you the sushi when we're at this place right now so this week I was finally inspired enough to get the Easter decor up and I wanted to show you guys this. Look how beautiful this is. It's actually off of YouTube and you just searched framed Easter art and it will come up and then you can make your TV into a beautiful Easter portrait <laughs> and they have a ton of different ones to um, choose from. I just thought this one looks so beautiful with my decor because I have predominantly pinks and blues. There's a few like little yellow springy kind of mixes in some of the areas too, but I'll show you a full tour in a moment. Just wanted to show you how cute and fun the framed art is that you can make your TV into a piece of art. I love that. You don't even need the Samsung fancy framed TV to make it look cute.
you can see the eggs are a little bit more illuminated right now because it's starting to get a little bit darker out in the evening. But before I went, I wanted to show you guys that I did make the pignoli cookies. I still need to make the chocolate chip Cadbury egg cookies that I'm going to make for Easter as well. But these were the traditional Italian cookies I was talking about earlier in the vlog. So yeah, those are all done and ready to go. If you want the recipe for this, I will link it from a previous vlog down below for you guys.